Hello. Introduction to MS PowerPoint, a multimedia presentation software. To start with, what is multimedia presentation? You know, multimedia presentation means making a, a presentation where you have got the advantage of images, sound, animation, along with textual matter also. So when you want to when you want to talk to somebody or talk to a group of people in front of you and you want to present something, you might want to present an information with some sound effect and some images and some videos and some text. All these combined things together, when uh, we want it, then we can use a multimedia presentation software and PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is one of the most commonly used multimedia presentation software. Now, what are the advantages of multimedia presentation? It is like a multimedia presentation can maintain uniformity and consistency means every time you are presenting, you are putting your best effort while making it. You are arranging for the best sound effect, the best video, the best audio, the best pictures, text, etc. And that can make an effect impactful effect again and again it can give animations want to see one just check out so you can also make a presentation in which you can have the images coming in different different ways styles there's so many designs uh, of presenting something the timing can be controlled you can uh, explain something for a longer time you can make it a uh, fast work like that the order of the slides or the presentation can be made slightly different in case the presenter wants to and it can also print the contents of a presentation if required. Hmm. Now, in a PowerPoint presentation, what are the introductory components? They are slide, placeholders and ribbon. So just, just to introduce a starting point, the slide is one where, uh, where the entire, look at this slide, now this is the place where it uh, is kept the things are kept it is similar to you know a page of a book so if you have a book then whatever is the page in a powerpoint that same thing is the uh, slide it contains one or many objects what are the objects the objects are like uh, the images the sound effect the video the text etc hmm. then a placeholder on a slide you keep the things or you put the things on something called placeholder. Now these dotted lines, they are, uh, they are the placeholders. So you put the title in the placeholder of title. You put the materials, the things that you want to put on the slide in one of those. So this when you will start working, you will get to know. Then there is this ribbon. This ribbon is common to all the other uh, Microsoft applications like in Excel also, Word also. In Microsoft uh, PowerPoint screen, you will find the ribbon with the most important components here are phone, then insert, then design, then transitions, etc. etc. are there. So, whatever are relevant to the slides, movement of slides, etc., they are here. So, as you start working, you will slowly come across them. So, let us look at the uh, common tabs that are on the ribbon. The first is home, is the first one where you have got all the most important things like clipboard, slides, inserting slide, deleting slide, etc, etc, resetting. Then you have got font, the text and the font can be designed, colors, then margins, indentation, then inserting some shapes and etc. Then you have got insert, under insert we will see what all is there. You will have to click on insert, you will see what all is there. Then design where there are quite a few colorful designs already present for help and more can be downloaded from the internet. Then slide transition option is there. That means uh, when you move from one slide to the other, then you will get a, a design coming in which way you want this to go and that one to come. Hmm. Then you have got animation effects that you can put on the objects like this will come in the presentation in which way Hmm. Then how will it go away when the work is done from the slide? Many a times there are so many designer effects possible. You will get to see to them. Slide show means presenting all the slides one after another. That means when you are on the action mode that you are presenting. Now 
the slideshow will bring the slides one after another. And there's something called view. View is more important when the work is being done, how you would like to see the slides. You would like to work on them in the normal mode where you can work on it. Slide sorter means you can see all the slides together in one screen and you know what which slide is where, whether this is perfect or you would like to change its position before, after or something. And slideshow means when the slides are being presented one after another. Hmm. Tips on slide transition. Now this is very interesting. You can uh, apply these designs of how one slide will go away and the other slide will come in. Now this one you will get to see when I am going to show you the examples of some uh, cute powerpoints that I have got with me. And when you see them you will realize how the slide transition is taking place. And for your information, right now what you are seeing is also a PowerPoint presentation. But I did not apply any slide transition right now here. So I have not put any, but I am going to show you some more where you will find some more. So this transition style is uh, the design in which one slide will go away and the new one will come in. And there is something called uh, transition timing. The timing means how long you want the slide to remain. You want it to remain for so many seconds or a fraction of seconds or you want them to move upon mouse click or enter. So I have chosen mouse click. If you want to do something else, you can make your choice anytime. Now this is the most important part. Tips on preparing a presentation. How to make a presentation? There are so many questions that bother if you have to make a presentation. Primarily, if you have something to convey, the things that come to your mind, those are the tips, questions. Like for example, what is the topic? Very obviously, when you have a topic, then only you will sit down and gather information. How many slides you would like to make again uh, uh, on it? Like if you want to make a lengthy one or you want to make a short one, what is the timing? How long you want your presentation to be? Uh, to be? Suppose you want to say something on reverse. So about reverse, you can go on for 5 hours, you can speak for 1 hour or you can choose 10 minutes. Then uh, that will decide how many slides you would like. Then you have got what are the colors. Like when I was preparing this presentation, I was wondering whether to choose base color as blue or green or brown. Then this brown struck me. If you want to make a presentation, you can always choose the color that you find is uh, going with your choice. Then what are the pictures that you have to put? So which picture will best express the thing that you want to talk on? Because always pictures are very expressive. If you have any videos, if you want to put any sound effect, and then what are the points on which uh, you would like to speak on? So the main important points should be uh, kept on the slide that uh, when someone is speaking on something, then the slides give a hint to the speaker on these are the things that I want to express. So the presentation is going to help the presenter with a consistent and a strong support. Okay, so we come to the end of the takeoff of PowerPoint. Here I would like to present my thank you note. Images have been taken from, from Google free images. I would like to express my gratitude to all the image makers. Thank you and to you, the viewers. Happy presenting and keep looking forward for the presentations that I am going to show you made by a bunch of intelligent people who were so excited to show their work to me and I would like to show them to all of you. Okay.